what it was that first got me into Herbie, but when I was a little boy, so I could think about was just dreaming, saying, one day I want to have my own Herbie. Everybody just basically loves Herbie. Uh, there's no doubt about it. A very, very popular set of movies that uh, Disney put out, both young and old alike, uh, have seen Herbie. The Beetle itself is such a happy car. You know, you can't help but look at a Volkswagen and smile. And the story is a story that we all can connect to, a story of an underdog that goes above everyone's expectations. And it's just a good, heartwarming type of story. When I go on the internet and, and search for things for Herbie, uh, there is more communication going on there than, than any other type of car that you can think of. We've had a lot of great ones in our, in our time, but Herbie just stands out. I remember being at a premiere at a local theater. They actually had a Herbie on display. It was so exciting to be able to see that up close, but you couldn't touch it, but it was there. As a child, I never owned a Herbie toy. Anything I had, I made myself. Got my little model paints and painted the car and the stripes and the numbers, and that was my Herbie toy, because there wasn't that much available. Will you stop the car, please? I'm trying, look. Constructing a car to look like Herbie's pretty easy. Herbie itself in the movie was portrayed as a 63 Volkswagen, which is what my car is. So if you wanted to be identical, you would actually have to make your Beetle look like a 63. There's quite a few neat little things about the year that I like as compared to the older ones. It's got a little bit bigger windows than the older ones. They put larger taillights on it in 62, which is the style Herbie has, which they carried on through 67. Uh, when we bought this car, it was pretty much a, a rusted uh, bucket of bolts, you might say, and had to be totally redone from the ground up. And uh, as you can see now, it's in a, in a totally restored condition. When I first met the original owner, who was a school teacher, she uh, bought the car new in Germany. When she was teaching there, brought it back to the U.S. I met her in 1988 in a parking lot. I saw the car, I said, that's Herbie. Just like Herbie looked at the beginning of the movie before he had his stripes and numbers. And I begged for her to sell it to me. She said, no. She said, but I do need somebody to work on it for me. And I said, hey, sure, I'll work on it for you. And I did that for a number of years, hoping and praying that one day she'd decide to sell it. And she did. And in December of 94, I bought the car from her and started my process in making it into a Herbie. The primary reason we did the car was for our son. He's uh, 28 years old and uh, handicapped, but one of his uh, favorite things in the whole world was, was Herbie. It gives our son something to call his own um, and something to be proud of, and I think that's the bottom line. It's, he, we, when we take it out, uh, he's just beaming from ear to ear, and uh, you know, he, it's his car. Basically, since it was the right year, it's the right color, which is the uh, Volkswagen color is L87 Pearl White, um, there wasn't a whole lot that I needed to do on it. I put the stripes, the numbers, uh, replica, Herbie license plate, the OFP 857 tag, and uh, pretty much that's all that needed to be done. I put the wider racing wheels on it a couple of years later just to give it a more aggressive look for Herbie's, uh, you know, aggressive driving. <laughs> This car uses a uh, laptop computer, a 266 megahertz uh, computer, and it drives 28 different servos, which activate things like its doors and its uh, hood, uh, wipers, and so forth. So as the original door panels I kept, the little handles, dash knobs, all that's original. Uh, I replaced the sunroof, of course, and painted the Herbie stripes on that. And I was actually gonna paint my interior gray, which if you notice in the Herbie films, you will see that the car is painted kind of with a non-reflective gray, which I'm told was for the camera lighting. I was gonna do that with my car, and that's when I met Dean Jones, and ended up having him sign my car inside, and that kind of blew my plans for painting the interior gray. <laughs> we uh, tried to attend all the, uh, uh, the car shows in our area, uh, in Central Florida. We go down, and three to 400 cars will show up. Um, we have all different types. And the bottom line is, out of all these cars, everybody's sitting around watching Herbie. And the rest of the cars are basically, uh, they're beautiful. But uh, Herbie gets most of the attention. Probably the hardest thing originally for me is I'm kind of a shy person. So having people scream at you when you're driving, you're like, what's going on? What are they screaming? Oh, say, oh yeah, I'm driving Herbie. People, I've had people flag me down, try to run, run me off the road because they want to ask questions. And they get so excited and they tell me their stories and what they remember about Herbie. And, it's amazing, you hear a lot of good stories. Everybody's giving you the thumbs up, uh, they're beeping their horns. Uh, we've had people videotaping and taking flash photos of the car on the road. Um, just about everything you can think of. We've got the wonderful hotel complex here, the All Star Movies, dedicated to Herbie. When I first was contacted about the hotel being constructed, 
it really you know made me excited because I was thinking, wow, Disney's going to devote you know a whole complex based on the Love Bug. That means they have good plans for Herbie in the future and you know, preserving Herbie's legacy. Uh, it seems like the uh, generations have passed this down. Uh, everybody seems to have a videotape, and and um, I think Herbie's going to be around for a long, long time. With all the heartache and sadness in the world. You know, you need something to feel good, and that's a character that feels good to a lot of different people. And it's nice that, you know, my car and others are out there for people to see and interact with. I think it's a good way of preserving the legacy that Disney created.